Welcome back to the channel, my fellow crows. Today is going to be an awesome presentation. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, we're going to be doing uh, video game pickups, uh, Lego pickups, and Hot Wheel pickups for today. Uh, let's go on with the first of the video games. Here we go, guys. Here is the PSP Greatest Hits. Twisted Metal, head on. I got this one for uh, Venomix Review. He's a PSP collector. So I got this one for a good price, $3. Uh, I got this at uh, one of my local uh, outdoor flea markets. He's a really cool dude. I just need to get his name, but uh, uh, hopefully he sees this video. I dedicate this uh, uh, presentation to him because knowing uh, you you meet great people uh, when we have the same interests in common. You know? And uh, I really do appreciate it. You know, meeting uh, cool people that have a variety of collection. And uh, this is for my brother. Uh, Venomix review um, Twisted Metal, you can't go wrong with Twisted Metal Let's open this one up This one has its uh, manual And this is pretty cool it has all the All the hidden and you know of course the notes in the back And the storyline to it This is pretty awesome uh, Recently me and uh, Venomix uh, Review were playing the game, so it's pretty cool. The original Twisted Metal. Uh, well, for the PlayStation 3, I think, uh, Twisted Metal Black. Yeah, there you go. But this one's in real good condition. So, uh, when he sees this video, he's going to be surprised. So, I got this one for him. I have already a copy of, of this one. So, my next uh, video game pickup is Final Fantasy Tactics. This is an awesome video game. I think it was for the PlayStation 2, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, of its original Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, it's more of like placing your characters at the right uh, slots and attacking them with the highest uh, level against the lowest level and it's basically a strategy strategy it's an awesome it's like almost like a chess like you're playing chess you know, you've got to put the put the right people at the right uh, location for you can max out uh, your offensive against their defensive and it's a pretty awesome video game uh, this one I have not played it yet uh, but I look forward on it Th this one's this one's an awesome uh, video game um, the condition of it is totally it, it still works it has to work um, I tried it out and it turns on and everything so um, knowing me I don't want to fully play it because then I have to dedicate all my time to it <laughs> and I don't want to do that yet not yet but yeah I got this one for a good price too for three dollars uh, from the same uh, seller so I got these two for a good price at the same time okay this is my PSP pickups now let's go to our Lego pickups. I got this bad boy at my local comic store called JMV's. He was a good, uh, good catch. He's like my very first Bane. If you want to add him, uh, if I want to add him to my DC collection, and he's one of them. And then we'll go with Marvel. I got this bad boy, Ghost Rider. Uh, 
at the outdoor flea market but it's actually like two parts uh, one is outdoors and the other one's indoors but in the same location and I got this guy for uh, I say it was uh, two for five so what 250 I got Ghost Rider for 250 not bad not bad the next one I got with him was uh, Venom he was a good catch He's, he's a, has the head of I ba basically himself, I guess. I don't know. But that's not the way it came. And that's his uh, his weapon on there. It was just totally cool. Just wish it had like a little bit more of its uh, Venom symbol in the front of it. But still, it, it's still... It still is pretty cool Lego figure. That's the Venom one. And the last one, I got this one in my local uh, comic store too. These two I got them for, but this one was pretty pricey. I got this one for $7. But um, he gave me a good discount. It was like, what, $5? But the low, original price was 7 bucks. But it's just the way it looks. It looks pretty awesome. I think this is from like the Harry Potter. Um, the girl that's crying. It looks like it. I like the way it looks. Me with my uh, horror collection. And I had to get this one. Alright, those are my, uh, my Lego pickups. I got to turn this one to the side. There you go. And out to the side. Boom. Alright. And now, last is my uh, Hot Wheel pickups. And we'll go with the awesome original TV series Batmobile. I recently saw a show called Got Gotham Garage. It's on Netflix. Uh, it's uh, pretty good show. You guys should check it out. Um, this vehicle, the 1966 Lincoln Futura, uh, was very unique at the time. And, of course, they made the uh, Batmobile out of that vehicle. Um, it's pretty awesome. And, like I said, I saw it on Netflix. Uh, you have to check that uh, series. series of how they created their own uh, same body body uh, type everything original to its natural glory it looks totally freaking awesome and I told Venomex review that I need to get that vehicle if I could get it I would love to have it and today we went for a hot wheel hunt and he just Boom, threw it at me and he's like, look, what you wanted to get is in your, it's in your possession now. So, yeah, this is 1966 Lincoln Futura. Hope I'm saying that right. I do apologize or not, but yeah, this is the Batmobile. And, of course, with that awesome vehicle... I had to get this awesome vehicle. Uh, Venomix Review has his, so now I have mine. So when he presented on his YouTube channel, I said to myself, if I can only wish I was with him and I could get my own one. And this one was at the same location where we got the Batmobile, so this one came along. So this is... I believe the DeLorean. So doing do a little bit more research on what year and what type of uh, model it was. But um, I just know that it's called the DeLorean. It comes out in that movie, uh, Player One Ready. That was totally awesome. Um, and to just give you a heads up, I've been looking for treasure hunts. So... This is not a treasure hunt, but it still looks awesome. It's my very first Back to the Future vehicle. 
And of course, it's for Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Back to the Future Time Machine. Hover mode. That is totally awesome. It was where I can fly in the sky. That was totally awesome. Well, this is my pickup, guys, for the week. I do apologize not uh, presenting something uh, on my new normal schedule, but I've been working a lot, and I do apologize for that. But this is what I have gotten. I've been still looking out for uh, some awesome Funko Pops that should be coming in a couple of weeks. I just want to say it would be a Dragon Ball Funko Pop. So stay tuned for when I do present it. You guys are gonna enjoy it. I am Lucky Crow 69 saying thank you for all the support. If you like this presentation, please leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment on the on the comment section. And new subscribers, thank you for checking out my channel. Please spread the word. Sharing is caring. And I will see you guys on my next upload. Thanks for watching.